Everyone has a special talent, a skill that makes us stand out from others, and if fortunate, a set of abilities that serve as the driving force for one's livelihood. Yes, big or small, our talents are raw gifts that we need to develop and nourish, and they are sources of happiness and personal satisfaction. Some are born to cook incredible dishes, others have almost supernatural abilities at physical feats. There are also verbal talents, and of course artistic ones too. So today's text mission is as follows. Tell me about your talent or talents, the skills that make you stand out from the crowd and always put you in that number one spot. Our text mission today, what are you most talented at? 이건 내가 제일 잘한다. 이거만큼은 나는 일... Excellent. That is our text mission today. Put your answers on our Bondi board or use Kakao Talk or text in on your cell phone, pounder sharp 1045 for 50 or 101, depending on the length of your text. Remember, we have tons of prizes to give out during the show, and you can start sending in your messages right now. It is a Friday morning here on the show. Let's get to the headlines with our news guest, Peter Bint. The government declared Gyeongju in North Gyeongsang province as a special disaster zone after the city sustained damage from consecutive earthquakes. 정부가 잇따른 지진으로 피해를 본 경북 경주시를 특별 재난 지역으로 선포했습니다. With the Korean Financial Industry Union announcing that it will go on a general strike today opposing the introduction of a performance-based wage system, certain transactions at commercial banks nationwide are expected to be disrupted. 금융노조가 오늘 성과 영봉제 도입에 반대하는 총파업에 들어간다고 밝힘에 따라 전국 시중은행에서 일부 업무 차질이 예상됩니다. According to news outlets including AP, a boat assumed to be carrying up to approximately 600 refugees has capsized in the Mediterranean Sea near Egypt, resulting in at least 43 dead and hundreds missing. Egypt 인근 지중해에서 최대 600명 가량이 탑승한 것으로 추정되는 난민선이 전복돼 최소 43명이 숨지고 수백 명이 실종됐다고 AP 통신 등이 보도했습니다. The Ministry of Health and Welfare announced that the so-called Shinhe Chol Law, which will be implemented by the end of November this year, allowing people who have suffered from medical malpractice that led to death or severe disability to easily receive aid through mediation in medical disputes. 보건복지부는 위로사고로 숨지거나 심각한 장애를 입은 피해자가 위로 분쟁 조정으로 쉽게 피해를 구제받을 수 있는 일명 신해철 법은 오는 11월 말부터 시행된다고 밝혔습니다. And those are your headlines for this Friday morning. Peter, thank you very much. Good morning to you. Good morning. I actually forgot it was Friday. You did? Until you mentioned it, yes. And I, now I'm really happy. I never forget it's Friday. <laughs> yeah. I do sometimes forget the day, though. And, and sometimes, you know, if it's maybe... Wednesday, uh -huh. it will feel like a Tuesday or a Thursday or something like yeah, that. Yeah, right? when you get it the wrong way around, as in you think it's earlier in the week <laughs> yeah. and it's later, you're like, yes! Yeah, right. But if you get it the other way, you're like, oh my <laughs> yeah, God. Yeah, right. Oh, it's only <laughs> Wednesday? What? Uh, what do you have planned for the weekend? Anything exciting? Uh, we were maybe going to try and go to a theme park you oh, know, yeah? before it gets too cold because our mm. kids are so small. So now is the perfect weather to do anything outdoors. No, I think you're absolutely right. And probably this weekend, maybe next weekend as well, will be the final warm weekends yeah. of the year, right? Um, it's too cold to do anything with little kids. <laughs> I was checking out the uh, weather app on my phone. It looks like it's going to be a pretty nice uh, weekend. So yeah. yes, get outside yeah. and try to enjoy yourself. That's for sure. Sure. Certainly. Yeah. Uh, all right. So let's get going today. Uh, where can everyone find the headlines and more? Uh, well, there's the website or the Bandi application, which features the day's Pang Song Neong. You get to listen, read, practice, study, and have fun at the same time. All at the same time. That's right. Well, today we have Natasha in the studio, it being a Friday morning, whether Peter realized it or not. <laughs> and we'll be checking out the trendiest online searches of the week in our weekly segment, Hot Clicks. That's right. All right, let's go to news story number one. What's it about today? Uh, it's about a selfie queen who is in her late 80s. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, this sounds <laughs> cute. You have a quiz question first. That's right. So when you touch something, you come into beep with it. What is that beep? Number one, contact.
contact or number two lenses. One more time, please. So when you touch something, you come into beep with it. Number one contact or number two lenses. Thank you very much, Peter. If you know the answer, put it on our bondi board. Use Kakao Talk or text in on your cell phone pounder sharp one zero four five for fifty or one hundred one, depending on the length of your text. And we are giving away an EBS Lang online sugangguan. So a grandma who loves to take selfies. A grandmother who only first came into contact with a camera when she was in her seventies has been dubbed the selfie queen for her eye-catching photos. Her poses include being literally hung from a washing line and being wrapped in a plastic bag. <laughs> really? They're crazy photos. I don't know where she gets her inspiration from. But yeah. If you're watching the boy in the radio. Uh, yeah, and she takes these cool ones that looks as if she's about to have an accident. Oh, or something. that's really creative, isn't it? Yeah. What? What? Why? And what inspired this? I don't know, but it is cool. Yeah, it's her hobby, so it's is nice. This, is this from? Uh, she's from Japan. Yes. Yeah. Uh-huh. She's like in cages. She seems like she's having a lot of fun, and she's got lots of followers from this. Yeah, uh, I bet she does. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, uh, you mentioned that she uh, only first came into contact with a camera when she was in her seventies. Yes. Yeah, so she's not a long time expert or anything, mm. but. To To come into contact with something, here the keyword is contact, which can mean to communicate, but here it means to touch physically. So to come into contact with means to touch something physically or figuratively, perhaps to meet someone or experience something. Momoa chop chuk hada animon manada chop chop. Well, you can use this literally mm-hmm. or figuratively. Yeah. A literal example is when you physically touch something, and that implies, I think. That it wasn't on purpose. Yeah. For example, maybe you have a rash on your skin, uh-huh. and I ask you, "Where did your rash come from?" Mm-hmm. And you say, "Well, I went hiking. I went to the mountain, and I came into contact with some plant uh-huh. that gave me this rash." And that wasn't intentional. Exactly. So you bumped into the plant yeah. physically. Yeah. Literally, and it gave you the rash. Yeah. Now, in a figurative sense, we can use this about people, right? Yeah.、Uh, I went to an event, and I came into contact with the CEO of X Y Z company. Yeah. And that doesn't mean I physically put my hands on、no. him or bumped into him or <laughs>、yeah. her. It just means that I met that person, right? Yeah, absolutely. And again, that seems a little unintentional, unplanned. You、mm. didn't know you were going to meet them,、yeah. right? You're right. So to come into contact with. Is used in that context, and this grandmother didn't come into contact with a camera until she was in her seventies, meaning she had never used one before, right? Yes,、mm. exactly. Okay, cute story. Let's hear it again. A grandmother who only first came into contact with a camera when she was in her seventies has been dubbed the selfie queen for her eye-catching photos. Her poses include literally being hung from a washing line and being wrapped in a plastic bag. Thank you, Peter. Now the answer to your quiz question, please. So when you touch something, you come into number one contact with it. Yes, and the EBS Lang Online Sugangguan will go to nine four zero one Nim. Congratulations and enjoy your prize. Back to our text mission before our break. Our question today: It's about your talents. 이건 내가 제일 잘한다. 이거만큼은 나는 일등 할수 있다. I'm still thinking about mine. It doesn't have to be unique, Steve. I know, <laughs> but even that is hard for me to think of. Hi,、uh, you're listening to Morning Special on EBS FM on this 23rd day of September, and now we'll go straight on to news story number two. Yes, it's about a table tennis entertainer. A table tennis entertainer. Yes. It's quite a mouthful. It's interesting. You have a quiz question. That is right. When you're obsessed with something and you do it all the time, you eat, sleep, and Beep it. Is it number one? Jump it or number two? Breathe it. Oh, this is a good one. One more time, please. When you're obsessed with something and do it all the time, you eat, sleep, and. Beep! It is beep number one. Jump or number two. Breathe. Thank you, Peter. Put your answers on our bandy board. Use Kakao Talk or text in on your cell phone pounder sharp one zero four five for fifty or one hundred one, depending on the length of your text. We're giving away another EBS Lang online sugangguan. All right. So a table tennis entertainer. A table tennis enthusiast has taken his passion for the sport and turned it into his main talent for entertaining. 
He eats, sleeps, and breathes table tennis to the extent that he can knock over mini bowling pins with his accurate shots and even play using a slipper. We have a video that you can watch on Point and Radio. You've got to see this. Yeah, he, he knocks over when it's the like the split as well. Oh you know? wow! Look it, at this one. This shot is absolutely unbelievable. So the far two pins, he can knock them both over. Oh, that's pretty <laughs> magic, right? Oh, wow! Yeah. Wow, that is an interesting. He's talent. fantastic, right? Yeah, yeah. He, he's uh, he's apparently good enough to go into tournaments and stuff. But he does this just for entertainment. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, and yeah. Then he takes his tennis bat like everywhere. It's got videos of him uh, just hitting balls out in the street and stuff like that. It's almost <laughs> like um, oh, and it's not just on the table, no, on the no, ping no. pong table. There's videos anywhere. of in class and yes. things like this. Yes. Oh, that's really good. Uh, well, he eats, sleeps, <laughs> and breathes table tennis. Absolutely. So if you're eating, sleeping, and breathing something, it basically means you're doing it all the time because、yeah. that's what we're always doing. We're either eating, sleeping, or breathing. Well, we're breathing all the time, hopefully. Yeah. yeah so、uh, it means you're obsessed and spend most of your time doing it. 너무 좋아하거나 집착해서 아주 많은 시간을 그곳에 쓴다라는 뜻이죠. It doesn't literally mean that you're always doing it. Not 24 hours, right? Not 24 hours a day, <laughs> but it's just an expression to imply how much you love something、yeah. or how obsessed you are <laughs>、yeah. with something, but not obsessed in a bad way. No, no. There's no negative connotation with this expression.、Yeah. Uh, for me now, it is American football season,、okay. and I. Love, love, love,、yeah. <laughs> love, love, love American football. Really? Yeah. I eat, sleep, and breathe football during football season. I see you sometimes coming to the studio, watching it live on your smartphone.、Yeah, You're yeah, glued to the、yeah. screen. That's right, because the games they'll、uh, they'll start at 2 a.m. Korea time、oh, or 5:30, 6 a.m. Korea time.、Okay. So I can watch when I'm coming into later one our studio. So Peter often sees <laughs> me doing that. I love it. I eat, sleep, and breathe it.、Uh, this is a really good one to learn to express how much you actually love something.、Right? Yeah, yeah. You could say it about people as well.、Sure. I eat, sleep, and breathe my kids. Yep. It means you're always thinking about、yeah. your Kids always with your kids. It's always、uh, kid related.、Mind. Exactly.、Yes. Yeah. All right. So let's hear this story once again. A table tennis enthusiast has taken his passion for the sport and turned it into his main talent for entertaining. He eats, sleeps, and breathes table tennis to the extent that he can knock over mini bowling pins with his accurate shots and even play using a slipper. Thank you, Peter. Now the answer to your quiz question, please. So when you're obsessed with something and do it a lot, you eat, sleep, and beep it. it the answer is obviously number two. Breathe. Yes. And the EBS Long Online Sugangguan will go to Hamsung Sunim. Congratulations to you and enjoy your prize. Now, if you didn't win one of those prizes, don't worry. Peter has some review quizzes coming up in just a sec. Yes, but in the meantime, we've got some tickets to give away as well. It's just Prize City here. Kungnim Kukjang Taorom Kukjang Ezo. 